all right guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in so i was just doing a little bit of maintenance on the car and i figure i make a video since i've been uh kind of thinking about this one for a while and i wanted to share with you guys uh, exactly my thoughts and if you guys are wondering exactly what maintenance i'm talking about on the car it is cleaning the map sensor the map sensor inside the intake box and I actually ended up cleaning the intake filter as well. I tend to do this every time my air fuel ratios are kind of spiked. That's my indicator that I need to clean uh, the sensors. And if you know, then you know that the map sensor gets dirty pretty often. So you just want to clean it up, get the oil out of there. And once you do that, the car should run like new again. So I'm going to start by saying that I am in no way bashing the brands that I'm about to mention in this video. I have no complaints of the quality of them. And I'm simply listing these out because I had a change of heart. So it's all personal preference. And I believe this is called progression. You install and you remove parts until you're satisfied with the build. And the things you thought were cool are no longer Longer cool so you switch it up and uh, move on and that's just how it goes I guess from my experience but for this video what I wanted to talk about are the modifications and car parts that I regret installing on my 2018 Subaru WRX so I'm just gonna go around the car here so the first thing that I could think of are the window visors and I actually have them right here because I recently uninstalled them from the car and they're great Fitment was amazing since it was OEM, uh, the ones that I bought, but I never really liked the look of them and I convinced myself for four years that they're functional even though I don't roll down my windows when it was raining. Also I feel like it was hard to see since it blocked a significant portion of the top window so I finally took them off and it was no surprise that there's scratches along the windowsill right here. So like that if you can see, there you go, there's uh, clips on the back of those things and it Obviously, throughout the years, um, you know, they get molded on there, they kind of move, and of course they'll scratch it once you remove it. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. The other side is a little worse than this one, but uh, right there. So, just the little things like that. It's not a big deal, but it's there. So yeah, now I'm enjoying this clean look again, and it honestly changed the entire look of the car. I don't know, something about this angle and then seeing the rear spats right there kind of just made it too much. You know, sometimes less is more, but the window visors kind of, it was a little overkill. And like I said, the four years that I had them, I tried to convince myself that it was cool and functional, but this is definitely more of my style. Now I'm just kind of getting used to how it looks without them. And I think it looks a lot better and just overall a lot cleaner with just no window visors. And the next thing on my list of modifications and car parts that I regret are the window louvers that I had on the car uh, a while back. Not the vented ones, the vented ones were kind of cool. Uh, those ones were from OLM, but I'm talking about the cheap ones that block off this entire uh, quarter panel window. And I just, you know, I put that on there cause they were cheap. I did like the look of them um, until I didn't anymore. But this is important not to block off since it literally allows you to see where your car is headed. So that was a big mistake on my part and I'm glad I got rid of those things. And yeah, as the years went by, I have just found myself focusing mainly on drivability and obviously that includes the visibility that you get from inside the car. You know, you don't wanna be driving with anything blocking your way. And yeah, I guess that's been my focus now is just practicality and drivability of the car. And the next thing on my list uh, for mods that I regret was the three-piece front lip that I had on the car. I'll link a video on all of this stuff if I did an install on them, but that was from one of my earlier videos. It was basically a lip that I purchased from Amazon. It was really cheap and it didn't look all that bad. The three pieces didn't bother me, but what did bother me was the fitment on the other side. So basically the lip ended right here and you had like a quarter inch gap from the edge of the uh, wheel well right here to this and it was just it looked bad and i got rid of that thing uh basically a couple days after i installed it it just bothered me to the point where i regretted installing it since then i've had this base in our front lip it's actually the second one since i cracked the first one and this one has been great uh you know it's a kind of a budget lip but i can't complain since the fitment is pretty great on this thing and the next thing on my list is actually let me open the door 
is this access port mount right here. So I had a different style before, but I got this one because it wasn't 3D printed and it blends in more with the car. But this one, the only gripe I have is that you have to unplug the access port with two hands for you to get it off. Uh, the other one I had, the 3D printed one, you can just pull it out and then put it back in if you need. But I guess this one is more intended for safety and racing purposes since it doesn't come off so easily like the other one would. So I guess it's more on preference. For me, I wish that I kept my other one since it was a lot easier. I don't know, I'm starting to become more practical and I just start to notice these little things here and there. So nothing against this one. This one's cool too. That's why, you know, I still have it, but again, it just takes an additional step for you to remove and install the access port. And the next thing on my list, that's not really a big deal, but it kind of started to bother me. So it's the Perrin strut tower bar. And the only reason I regret this one right here is because this is actually an older version right here. I should have done my research before buying this one since Perrin now has an updated version. And I bought this used and I got a good deal out of it. And I was just excited that I had a new car part to install on my new car at the time. So that's why I regret this one. I do want to get the sole function strut tower bar since it has a built-in master cylinder brace, but it looks like my catch can will be in the way that so for now I'm just gonna stick to this one but that's a really great idea from Soul Function it just it's a two-in-one kind of thing and uh, I don't know one of these days I might try and relocate this and uh, try out that strut tower bar but for now again I'm gonna stick to this one and I'm either gonna get a lot of people disagree or agree with me on this one but the next car part I regret is this Cobb intake the big SF intake, the most expensive one on the market. And the reason I regret it is mainly for the issues that I've experienced with it. And I'll, uh, again, I'll link a video on that. It's a whole nother topic. I mentioned this in that video and the tubing on this thing just bends easily, causing an imbalance in my air fuel ratios. So it was my fault for over tightening the clamp. But again, for $425, I expect a little more thickness on that tubing. It took a lot of work, a lot of time and effort to get this thing to finally work with the car. And a lot of people have agreed, did my research and everything, they have the same issues. A lot of folks never got their air fuel ratios to be where they want it to be. And the Cobb intake was the one to blame for that. And I do have the Grim Speed one right here, but I won't be able to install it because I need a retune for it. And you know, with the Cobb Green Speed update, um, I have TGV and EGR deletes. I know there's ways around it to get a retune, but I'm gonna be honest and say that I'm too lazy to go through the process. Again, I was able to fix that intake and the car is running perfectly uh, at the moment. So there's that. And the next thing on my list for the car parts that I regret is the Perrin Hellahorn bracket or Hellahorn brackets in general. There's spots to mount the horns onto the car directly and the bracket isn't necessary unless you're specific about the placement. You know, it's something minor, but it, it's just, it, it's something that I wish I never got into since I thought you needed a bracket to be able to install these horns. Totally not the case. But yeah, as you guys can see right there, I mounted it directly into the center and it works just fine. Just enough room for the Velocitech snorkel and it doesn't rub or anything like that. So I'm sure there'll be more of these modifications that I regret in the future. And like I mentioned, that's kind of just the way it goes. I'm still a firm believer in trying out different car parts and bringing light to these little products that aren't mainstream. You know, a lot of us have these cars and it gets harder and harder to just kind of make yours unique. You know, I get a lot of hate on my wheels, but at the end of the day, it's my preference. I love the way they look and others' opinions don't matter when it comes to that. So I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and I want to focus on more practicality and daily drivability. But again, these are just my thoughts and my opinions throughout the four years of owning this car and honestly if I can go back and do it all again I totally would I wouldn't change a thing about it the car will just continue to change all the little things here and there that I install I don't think it'll ever be perfect but who knows but for now I'm still enjoying the process and I'm gonna keep doing it so I think that's gonna be it for this one and I want to close out this video with a message and that message is to not be afraid of trying new things it's your car and you can choose to do whatever you want with it so if it makes you happy then do it stay true to yourself and stay true to your build and if you like something just do it so that's going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you have any questions let me know in the comments below other than that i'll see you guys in the next one